I'm gonna make a a boot, or at least the inner part of a boot. This is gonna be the uh, part of the boot that's next to his skin, and then we'll put some armor over that uh, for the final piece. Um, but that base mesh that you just saw uh, was actually made in Maya. I just took his lower lowest res uh, body out and uh, chopped it off, um, extruded the edges around the top, so I could have a little geometry to work with, and then. Uh, brought it back in and appended it. So that's another method you could use. I didn't go the uh, the mask and extract or retope method or anything like that. And at the top here is where I'm going to put some fur lining. Again, to go between uh, his body, just a little padding between his body and the leather. It may look a little goopy now, but just keep in mind it's going to be fur kind of plopped over. And I'm just going to rough in the shape of the boot here with a lazy mouse. It's going to be a fold down leather part to his uh, inner boot. And looks like another uh, mask and inflate. And I actually did uh, subdivide up through the subdivision levels fairly quickly for this boot. Um, again, it's one of those exceptions where uh, I didn't have to work every detail as I went up in one subdivision at a time like I would if I was doing a body sculpt. Um, you know, if you're doing something that's kind of hard-edged or maybe uh, clothy like this boot is, you don't, you don't have to do that for every subdivision level. You can divide it up and uh, go ahead and put your details in. Don't worry about working it over every subdivision level. One of those exceptions. And for some reason these end up looking German to me too, and I, I don't know exactly why. Look like Germany circa, uh, I don't know, 1850. <laughs> And I think the direction I end up going is actually, uh, this is more of just like a shin, shin boot, and then his feet will end up just being wraps, and then I'll put armor over this. And hard to explain, you'll see it though. And go ahead, and just like we did on the teeth, on the body sculpt, um, you can mask and then just kind of move, use a move brush to kind of pull down over masked areas to kind of just increase that division between surfaces. And here I'm masking out where I'm going to have fur uh, poking out at the bottom. You're going to mask that area and then invert it by control clicking out in the canvas. And again, if you need to uh, know all sorts of other masking techniques and all that good stuff, uh, please pick up part one. I don't touch on hardly any of it in part two, but you're missing out if you didn't get part one. A lot of good stuff in there. Uh, here's a hair method. It's just a standard brush with that kind of scraggly alpha. Um, I showed that just to kind of show that that's one of the options, but what I'm actually going to do is go into the slash two brush. And under the alpha, I'm changing that curve to kind of soften that middle line. Uh, I think Jason Smith actually brought that this technique to my my attention. Um, you can use a slash two brush and uh, again using that curve you can spread those two points apart and it will soften that midline so you get a softer slash just to kind of build up your uh, forms and then you can go and harden that line up by bringing those uh, two points together which I'll do later on and kind of do more detailed hair but this is just kind of build up some softer hair forms and again, while it's mass, I can go ahead and move and kind of pull it down over the boot like it's actually uh, laying over the boot in a little more of a natural way. And you can hold down Alt with the Slash 2 brush and cut in the bottom of those shapes. And using the same technique, we'll just uh, use a Slash 2 to make the fur at the bottom. So again, he's kind of got a uh, shin, shin guard uh, strap to his shin with fur lining and then he'll have a, a foot wrap. These are going to be, I think these things are probably made out of leather. 
We put a little bit of a cloth detail in just to kind of make it read a little, a little more naturally. Again, cloth would probably gather in certain areas and stretch across in other areas. So just make sure it reads as cloth. Uh, we'll go ahead and add some cloth lines. Well, not cloth, but you know, not uh, metal. It's uh, leather or cloth or something like that. And just refining these forms. Now we've got a drag dot. And we're going to mess with the curve a little bit. We're not going to use an alpha, I don't think. And I'm going to make some uh, these eyelets. We're going to pass some um, shoelace through them. I'm going to space these out. using drag dot to drag uh, multiple copies of those on there where I need them and then um, it kind of came in a little bit crunchy so instead of smoothing out that brush curve and do it again I just kind of took a smooth brush to them and just like we did on the pants I'm gonna mask out some crisscrossing lines and then uh, I don't know if I sharpen the mask or not, but you can always do that using the, the, the uh, mask options. And then we'll clean up our mask a little bit. Make sure we're not uh, smoothing out the eyelets. Just the part of the eyelets that we want to be smoothed out. And then we'll use a flatten brush to kind of get rid of that seam down the middle. And then we'll inflate under the deformation menu. And again, just like the pants, we'll uh, sculpt these out. So that one side is overlapping the other. Looks a little more natural. You know, just like shoelaces. You've seen shoelaces before, so. Don't need to explain that to you. And again, I'm just going to spend just enough time to kind of get the point across. I'm not going to put a stitch pattern or <laughs> anything on these laces. As long as it reads from where it needs to read, that's all the work you need to put in. Hell, this might be overkill in most, most cases. Again, we got our uh, slash two brush. Just refining that fur along the top. And it looks like off camera, I went ahead and just sculpted in the wraps at the bottom of those feet. I uh, figured you probably didn't need to see me uh, draw lines of uh, wraps. But that's basically all I did, is just draw in the lines of where the wraps are going to be. And there you can see on the, uh, the brush alpha just then. Um, I brought those points closer together so that that got a little bit more of a slash, a finer slash to it, and just refining that hair at the top and the bottom of the boot. And I also had a little bit of details, added a little bit of details off camera, just the same same method though, drag dot some rivets on there, uh, sculpted uh, his um, wraps for his feet, uh, added some dings and some cloth uh, detail to the shin part. Nothing you haven't seen before. Um, I promise if I had used another technique, I would have kept it in, but uh, you've seen it all before, so there's no point in putting it in. And again, just refining the hair with the sharper slash.